the official jailbreak from Pangu for iOS 9.3.3 is finally out. You can now customize your device to its full potential. Here's a group of 50 jailbreak tweaks compatible with 9.3.3. Photo size is a useful tweak which improves the standard photo app. You can now see the file size of any photo or group of photos you've selected. Elmcom gives you more control over your screenshots. A new menu lets you choose what to do with it, either save to photo library, copy to clipboard, share, or cancel. Battery life provides additional information about the battery in your device. It displays remaining battery charge and how long your device will last depending on use. It also displays useful information like total battery capacity, total recharge cycles, and current temperature. You can preserve your battery capacity by not overcharging it. It will last longer per charge. Cylinder is a display tweak which animates transitions between home screen pages. This is similar to Barrel, but Cylinder is free and has more choices. You can choose from 58 different animations, which can be combined into more than 35 trillion choices. Here are a few examples. Gooches is a tweak which changes how notifications are displayed on the home screen. Apps now display notifications as a text label. There are many options to customize this tweak. You can adjust colors, hide badges, hide labels, and even make different changes per app. Priority Hub is a new way to organize and simplify your lock screen notifications. This tweak was inspired by BlackBerry 10. Each notification you receive is now grouped by app. You will see an icon with a number below. Just click on any icon to see all the related notifications. Slide on the notification you want to read and the app will open. No App Store redirect stops apps from automatically opening the App Store without your permission. It provides a confirmation menu instead. You'll find this tweak useful for apps that have too many redirecting ads. Apps like MovieBox are finally usable with this tweak installed. DIM lets you reduce the display brightness lower than the iOS minimum. Alkaline is the display tweak which changes the standard battery symbol in the status bar. The theme is colored red when charging and white when not. You can install other themes like Zelda Hearts for Alkaline. The tweak and extra themes are both available from Cydia. Reveal NC9 changes the pull-down animation for the notification center. It now looks like this instead of the default animation. Icon Art is a tweak which replaces home screen and app switcher icons for music apps. You can play music in the background with Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Music, and other apps. With this tweak, the icon for your music app will be replaced by Album Art. The icon will match the song currently played. Artist lets you choose what music app to open when you plug in your headphones you will get the menu choice at the bottom of which app to open. There are many options to customize the color, text, and animation. Color Predictive changes the font color for predictive text above the keyboard. You can change the text color to any color you prefer, like this neon green. CCD Separator is a simple display tweak. It removes the shaded separator lines in the control center for a cleaner appearance. C-Circle is a simple display tweak. It changes the icons at the bottom of the control center to a circular style like this. Safari Close All Tabs adds an X option to the tab view, which allows you to close all tabs at once. You can lock or whitelist certain tabs from closing. Just hold the tab with two fingers until the lock icon changes to red. Now all the tabs are gone except for the four which I locked. Safari Tab Count is a tweak which should already be in iOS. In Safari, the Tab View button now displays the number of open tabs, as you can see here. Always More for Spotlight shows more in a Spotlight search. Now you get two rows of Siri suggestions and nearby places. Grabber App 8 is a tweak which allows you to change the lock screen apps. You can change the camera grabber to open any app instead of the standard camera app. You can also set a second icon to open a different app. Date and status bar simply adds the current date to the left of the time area on the status bar. 
Full Folder 9 expands the way folders work. Now folders open as a full screen up to a 5x9 grid of icons. Just tap or pinch to close the folder. You can also have more folders within a folder. Icon Bounce is an interesting display tweak for the icons on your dock. These icons are now animated. They will randomly bounce, rotate, twirl, and flip. Wink is a useful utility which hides the status bar to simplify your home screen. With Wink installed, your status is hidden until you tap it once to make it reappear like this. No Labels is a display tweak which, as you can guess, hides icon labels from your home screen. There are no options. Circuit changes the shape of your home screen icons. They're now circular like this. 20 second lock screen makes your lock screen stay on for 20 seconds instead of 5. You can change this number in settings if you prefer. Roman passcode changes your lock screen appearance. Now the passcode keyboard displays as Roman numbers. Faces changes your lock screen appearance. Now you can add background images to your passcode keypad like this. Delete Cut is a typing tweak that adds a new function to the delete key. If you hold the shift key, the delete key will now delete one word at a time like this. Shift Cycle is a tweak that adds more typing options. Just select some text and tap the shift button to switch between either uppercase, capitalized, concatenated, or lowercase. There are setting options to customize the shift choices as you want. Swipe Selection provides a really useful keyboard function. Now you can move the cursor and select text easily using your keyboard like a trackpad. Just slide your finger over the keyboard to move the cursor right or left. If you hold the shift key and slide your finger, you can select text instead. Once selected, you have options to cut, copy, paste, format, define, share, or indent. Return to Sender is a small tweak which changes the Messages app. It simply replaces the return button with a blue send button instead. CC Colors changes the color of the control center background and transparency. Just pick any color you want and you're done. Last app is a useful tweak that lets you go back to the previous app. Just set the last app to run using an activator gesture like double tap the status bar. For example, if you first open Spotify and next open the App Store, Two apps are open, so now you can go directly to the Spotify by double-tapping the status bar like this. Status Bar Timer is a tweak that displays the timer or stopwatch time next to the clock in the status bar. For example, start the clock stopwatch and return to the home screen. You can now easily see the elapsed time. Minimal HUD is a display tweak that replaces the volume pop-up that displays whenever you change the volume level. Now you get a tiny volume display that doesn't get in the way, especially if you're watching a video. You can select the position and theme for this new HUD display in settings. Tweak Count 2 is a simple tweak for Cydia. In the installed list, it now displays the total number of tweaks you have installed. Reveal Menu is a tweak that adds 3D Touch menus to devices without 3D Touch. There are options to customize the key sensitivity and vibration. Just long press on one of the standard apps to reveal a pop-up menu like this. If you want to edit the home screen, swipe up on an icon instead of the usual long press. Swipe Home is a tweak that adds a new function to the app switcher. Swipe up on the home screen to kill all apps at once, like this. Preference Organizer 2 is a tweak that organizes your settings into new groups. This simplifies your settings into four sections instead of one long scrolling list. The last section is new. It displays all your app groups, which include Apple apps, social apps, tweaks, and App Store apps.
Circle icons is a display tweak which changes all the icons of the settings app to a circular shape. It does not affect any icon themes. Color switches changes the color of the standard green toggle switch. You can change both on and off colors. Just pick any color you want and you're done. Glow badge adds an animated glow effect around the app icons on your home screen. You can set different colors and the strength of the glow for apps with notifications. There's another option called Badge Whitelist if you only want certain apps to glow. Ethos is a useful music tweak that keeps your background audio always on. It's useful if you want to play a game or run another app and still listen to music. YouTube Plus Plus is a great tweak that makes the YouTube app better. You get many useful options and features. To customize YouTube, press the three dot symbol at the top right and then Settings. There is a new section called YouTube Plus Plus Preferences. Here there are options to change the download quality and the file save location. This app is capable of saving a 1080p file at 60 frames per second. You can also set the default playback quality for both Wi-Fi and mobile. There are playback options for background play, autoplay, full screen mode, and playback speed. You can change the number of seconds for the forward and back controls. More options allow you to block video ads, hide video suggestions, disable the age restrictions, and hide the upload button. You can also change your default main page in YouTube. You still have all the standard YouTube preferences available. Bottom bar is a display tweak that changes the status bar in the lock screen. It now appears on the bottom of the screen and the camera grabber is hidden for a minimal appearance. By Lockdown is an excellent tweak that lets you passcode protect individual apps, settings, and even control center switches. It works with both Touch ID and standard passcodes that are added in settings. Here's how By Lockdown works. Go to Settings, add a new restriction. Select an app, switch, setting, or feature to restrict. Now select Photos and pick the type of restriction, passcode, Touch ID, Wi-Fi network, or any combination. Now whenever you access this locked app, you will need to unlock it with Touch ID like this. You can add as many restricted apps as you wish. Alarm Control is a useful tweak that modifies the clock app. You can turn off or on all alarms at once using the new toggle switch at the top like this. Polis is a tweak to fully customize your control center. You can easily add any app to the quick launcher. With over 300 icons included, you should be able to find one that matches. It's easy to configure new apps and change the appearance of the control center. Polis works with a CC color tweak that allows you to change the background color. Better Shutdown is a tweak which modifies the power down menu. Normally it displays slide to power off when you press the power button. With this tweak installed you get more options, power off, reboot, and respring. Universal Mute is a simple sound tweak that mutes the media volume when the ringer is muted. In settings there's an option to return to a preset volume level when you unmute and another option to let this tweak work with a connected headset. No Power Sound is a tweak that disables the sound your device makes when plugged into the charger. There are no settings. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more videos like this.